What's up everybody? This is DDS and in today's video I'm tackling something that I get a lot of questions about and that's simply how to use Output Arcade inside of Machine. If you are familiar with Output Arcade, it's a VST where you can get loops and all that wonderful stuff. It maps out to whatever device you're using and you can change the key and it matches your tempo that's set in your DAW and everything like that. I enjoy it a lot. It's a lot of fun to get some ideas from and even just to add some finishing touches to a beat that I already started. So this video is simply a tutorial on how I open up and use Arcade using my machine. I will be going back and forth with the computer screen and then coming back over here to the actual machine to show you guys how I go through the sounds and explaining my whole process behind that. So first things first, over on the screen, I gotta open up the VST. So I hit here, I go down to Output, Arcade. All right, so it's loaded, but you don't see it. So if you're not familiar with how to open up VSTs and machine, just click this little arrow right here or double tap on the name, but the arrow works just fine. As you see, it loaded up. So they have some new stuff out that I have not heard yet. So this will be dope to check out. I like the 70s kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of these. All right, it just downloaded. So from there, I'm gonna double tap it. All right, so on your machine, you may be like, let me hit keyboard mode. How come I don't hear anything throughout all of them? Or you might just be like this, take it out of keyboard mode. Wonder how come there's no sounds going across here. What you have to do is be in keyboard mode first off. So hit keyboard mode, your root note should be C. But as you see on the computer screen, when I hit C, it's only doing middle C. So first thing you want to do is drop down the octave to C2. So you may notice that when I hit some of these, it doesn't play anything. Like this one right here, this one right here. If you look on your actual plugin, it's just a keyboard. So this would be the effect. So some of these effects are here. And I don't really like the way this kit sounds. Let me load another one up for this video real quick. I want something with some more melodic stuff. Look like they have a, a decent amount of stuff on here I haven't heard yet. All right, let's see what this one sounded like. So I'm somebody who likes to go through all the sounds, which is why I have my complete control set up when I use this majority of the time. It's easy for me to run through it because all of the loops and samples are on the um, white keys and then the black keys will be your effects. So with this, I just decide to go change my um, scale type to C, it's already in C, but change it to major. So it's all white keys across here. So now I will only hear samples and loops as I go through all of these and I should be able to go through all of them right here on the machine MK3. So yeah, I literally went through all of them that quick. So I'll do something just real quick just like that let me change the pattern length okay it should be good and what I was saying earlier about the tempo I just hit tempo change it I'm gonna raise it up some and what I did right there is I just went over and changed the key of the sample and loops and everything which is dope So you may be wondering how, what if you wanted to use an effect that you heard or anything like that? 
So what I generally would do from there, since I already have my loop and everything going, I just go back and turn it back to um, chromatic and I'll just go through and find an effect that I like. So right here, I'm gonna have to go up an octave because I ran out of um, keys. So I'm just gonna go back up. I ran out of pads, I should say. So. So I'm not really too fond of any of these effects on here right now that's already set. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one just for the sake of the video. So I just added an effect to go ahead and um, keep that going, that little effect that I had there, if that makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much how I use it. You know, I just go back over to the computer if I want to find some more stuff and just browse through and you could like, if you want to add other things. So like, for example, this is why I like using it in machine as well. If I wanted to just go through and build up upon this with some more loops and samples from this one specific kit, I would just go ahead and duplicate my pattern. Then I, I go ahead and then I play it to find something that I like. So like, let's say I wanted to add that. And then from there, if I just wanted to find a whole nother kit together to put some stuff together, I just, I like to copy the arcade that I already have because it keeps the information in it like you know whatever scales or what key I'm in what kit I'm in all that stuff if I wanted to have something I would just go ahead and do it this way so I opened up a new group I'll go ahead and hit paste so from there the exact same thing it's already loaded up so I'm gonna play something find another kit or something that I want to add to it real quick just to make it flow and build up from there.
I really like the way that sound. I'm gonna go ahead and mess with some of these effects that they already have right here. So that way I can go ahead and uh, just change it up a little bit. Right here, I mean, it's already pretty much done. I have it broken down. I'm just gonna go ahead and add just some quick drums to it, just so you guys can see. I might as well at this point go ahead and finish the um, or just get a basic idea down with this. Plus, I like it, so just wanna make sure that these load with the patterns and it doesn't cool. So let me just go ahead and load this one up real quick. Don't even know exactly what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna do something quick.
yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I enjoy using Arcade. Fun. Get some inspiration from or you could just make a beat like that if you really want to just add the drums and stuff to it at the end or anything that you want to add later because you already got the key that the the scale and everything that everything's already set in so you're good to go so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video leave a comment below let me know what you guys think and what do you think about arcade do you use arcade i find myself using it regularly it's pretty dope um yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're not new, I just want to ask you to just continue to support me. If you need help with machine, click the link in the description below to check out my machine video course. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, I should say. Enjoy the rest of your day. using machine i have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled how i use machine i cover everything from how i start a beat to finishing the beat the link is in the description below so if you need help with machine go check that out hopefully you enjoyed the video